I have heard that if you set your Windows year to 9999, your computer completely freaks out and starts flying. I think it's time to find out for ourselves. Right now we can see that the date is January 10, 2026. I should have adjust date and time automatically turned off, yes. The thing is that you can't exactly set the year to 9999 through normal methods. There's a specific command I have to type and use, but I'm not gonna show what is this exact command. The operation completed successfully. And now what I have to do is simply restart my Windows PC. And then when I boot, Windows brings me to this edit boot options menu. And what I have to do here is add just one simple line. Okay, that seems about right. Now let's click enter my password. And there we can see the year is 9,900. I hate this number. You already know what year it is. We have traveled into the future. The first thing that I notice right away is that the cursor keeps loading something. I can still browse the internet when I'm far into the future. Okay. And there's the Microsoft website. My start menu never takes this long to appear. We can browse the internet, but we can't open the start menu. I can't, uh, I can't access my pro... It takes like half a minute to open. What about the file explorer? This one opens inst instantly. What about settings? These ones I can't even click. I can't click on anything and it... So I guess Windows Explorer doesn't like that our year is 9000. Okay, settings, I can't open it. It closes immediately. What about Microsoft Store? This one is gonna work until the world burns or something. What about Task Manager? This one does open. I want to open clock. What was the exe file called? Clock exe? Hmm. Or we can just wait like a minute for the start menu to open. No, it disappeared. I think I'm gonna have to try to open programs through File Explorer. I just opened the folder and my system stopped working. Or maybe that's just normal Windows behavior. I don't know. Date access to 1.12.99999. Set date and time manually, change. It doesn't even let me. I want to try to find some exe files. Resource monitor, what about this one? Okay, this one works. Windows Media Player Legacy. Wait. Your computer is set to year 9000. It recognizes our year. Notepad, let's try Notepad. And I want to try Copilot. Right. Sign in. Subscription required. Okay, and my year is back. Okay, let me set it back. 9999. Okay, let's find some more exe files since that's the only way I can open programs. Why is the year once again 2026? I just turned it off. Why is it on again? Right now it's off. I'm gonna restart once more then. Let's set year to 9999. Okay, we can see the year is back. Now let's quickly check. It's turned on once more. Okay. Let's turn it off. It keeps turning it back on. I have a Chrome setup installer or something. Can we install Google Chrome? Let's try. Connecting to the internet. Installing. Okay. Google Chrome has been successfully installed. It actually works better than Edge right now. I hope you gained important insights from this video and I would suggest you to watch the macOS equivalent of this experiment.